What's up guys? Welcome back to Pro Warriors. In today's video, we're going to dive into the latest update of WinLater Frost 8 V1, a powerful Windows emulator for Android that lets you run Windows software and games right on your phone or tablet. If you're unfamiliar with it, let me quickly introduce you. WinLater was originally developed by BrunoDev85, and now, with the release of WinLater 8, Mr. Frya Nick Frosty has come through with some amazing modifications, adding new features and fixing a bunch of bugs. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'll guide you through the entire process, from installing WinLater, adjusting the settings for the best performance, customizing the controls, and finally, managing and installing PC games to get you gaming smoothly on your Android device. This is a complete A to Z guide, so make sure to watch the video till the end and don't skip any steps. Please like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell icon for updates. Before we dive in, let's go over the minimum system requirements you'll need to run WinLater on your device. Ensure you're on Android 10 or higher, have at least 6 GB of RAM, and around 8 GB of recommended storage space for system files. A Snapdragon chipset works best, but Mali and other chipsets are also supported. Now let's dive into the installation process. First, head to the WinLater download page. I'll include the link in the description. On the GitHub page, scroll down until you see the option to download WinLater. Currently, WinLater 8 is the latest version, and it's about 188 megabytes. Since it's a small APK, it should take about one to two minutes. If you encounter any issues loading the GitHub page, I suggest joining our Discord server. Once the download is complete, install the app. You might see a warning about Google Play Protect blocking the app because it's built with an older version of Android, but we can still install it safely. Let's launch the WinLater emulator. First, you'll need to grant the app permission to access your phone storage by clicking Allow. In previous versions, we had to manually download the OBB file, but with WinLater 8, it automatically downloads the OBB file, which is very convenient. The file contains all the necessary components to run the app and will take about two minutes depending on your internet speed. Once the OBB file is downloaded, it will automatically be detected and the installation will proceed. Next, you'll be prompted to create a container. Click the plus icon at the top right corner, which allows you to configure various settings. First, give your container a name. Select the screen size. I'm selecting 1280 by 720, but you can go up to 1080p. I recommend using your device's native screen resolution for the best performance. If you notice any lag or troubleshooting, you can lower the resolution in the settings. The next option is the graphics driver. Right now, two drivers are available, Turnip and Virtual GL. If you're using a Snapdragon chipset, use Turnip for better performance, especially for high configuration games. If your device has a Mali GPU or another chipset, choose Virtual GL. You can also select the version of these drivers to use. Now onto the DX wrapper. WineD 3D is for OpenGL, while DXVK is for Vulkan. I'll be using WineD 3D, which is the latest version, but you can experiment with other versions to see what works best for your device. One of WinLater's big problems was audio latency, but this time they've addressed it. You can now adjust the volume as well as the latency. You can also enable the FPS counter if you want to track your performance during gameplay. Another new feature in WinLater 8 is the theme option, where you can switch between light and dark modes, as well as customize the background color and upload custom backgrounds. DPI represents font size. I'm setting it to 120 DPI. Under GPU settings, you can select various drivers. Honestly, I don't fully understand how these drivers affect games on different devices but video memory settings allow you to allocate up to four gigabytes of RAM. If you're unsure, stick with the default settings. Once everything is set, click the check mark to create the container. You'll now see a container is visible. Before we boot it, let's configure the controls. Open input settings by clicking the three lines in the top left corner. WinLater 5 introduced many new control settings, including cursor speed and overlay opacity adjustments. You can also add control profiles. In the controls editor, you can easily add or remove keys and position them as needed. I'd give WinLater a solid 10 out of 10 for its control customization features. Finally, go back to the home screen and tap Run. Congratulations, you've successfully booted Windows on your Android device using WinLater. It's almost like running Windows 7 on your phone. To install games, place the game files in the Downloads folder, which serves as the D drive. I recommend using games you legally own to ensure safety and compliance with intellectual property laws. Make sure your device can handle the game before moving the file to the Download folder. From there, 
Open the game folder and run the .exe file, just like on a PC. A shortcut will be created on your desktop. Now you're ready to play. I've installed Freedom Fighters to demonstrate. Although it's an older game and doesn't require a high-end device, WinLater's Virtual Touch controls mimic PC game controls, giving you an immersive gaming experience. Enjoy your favorite PC games on your Android device. Performance may vary depending on your device's specifications, but higher-end devices will generally run games more smoothly. That's all for today. See you in the next video. Take care!